Welcome to commissary. I... Oh, well, if it isn't the <laughs> boy, what a sight for sore eyes you are. <laughs> I was on my rescue mission and got caught up by these flying rocks. Even these shorts weren't able to outrun those barbarians. Between the two of us, these rockheads can't understand a quality deal the way you can. Speaking of which, in honor of your apparent aristocratic acquisition, I am prepared to offer a free item for today only. Better yet, I'll discount some previously undercounted prices. Now, I'm sure that crown came with some moolah. Let's make a deal, baby. You won't regret it. So, where's my free item? <gasps> of course. The journal. So... I just have to ask, why do you pretend your goats are unicorns? Pretend, my boy! Pretend! They are actual bona fide actual unicorns, not goats! Okay, you caught me, they're goats, but don't say that too loudly or they'll be bridge streets. How's business treating you? It's quite hard to find rare and miraculous ingredients in this cell, but I'm making do. Can I see the merchandise? Ooh, stay back, don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down, a mixin' for fixin' everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. I come back when you have more money. I can tell by the distinct lack of jingle in your pocket. Metal-eating sticks from my trip to the Orient. Rare, exotic, moderately priced. How much? One shiny gold coin. Eh, come and see me when your pockets are full of more riches. The last bowl of porridge, spruced up with bran berries. Did you know this super fruit packs two whole days of nutrition into just one serving? How much? Two shiny gold coins. Boy, you just don't have enough. Goodbye. Out your voyeur. I wasn't going to let myself be stopped by a door. I had bested many difficult quests, but I might need a key. Contraband is frowned upon. I'll need to hide this. Short weeds had gathered at the bottom of some sort of goblin ladder. take two to open that door. I would need to find an escape companion. They kept slipping through my fingers. I needed to find some other way to catch a fly. There were more mattresses there than people in Daventry. I wondered where they got them all.
I knew fairy tales were unlikely to come true. However, sometimes you can't find a romantic heart. That goblin so desperately wanted to find its prince. If I was a little bit stronger, I could do it. Teleportation at random, does it summon a storm that follows you? Will it make you transform into a cat? <laughs> Apologies, been working on that. Cat, will this potion make you turn into a clawed feline? No, oh, it's nothing special. Just weed killer. We think we can ride away these roofs to escape. Bring us the eye of a fly, boy. And keep up with the treats. Hmm. Yeah, I would have taken the other path. Is this story about your choices or mine? feeling. Uh, she hasn't got much left in her. See ya.
All right, stand back. Be gone, weeds. That rabbit. Did I say eye of a fly? I meant flying eyes. Well, I always get those two mixed up. Oh, dear. Hey, I'm sick of you. How can a whole horde of creatures be so dumb? Who raised you? Oh, your species is capable of deep thoughts, and that's a fact. That's it. I'm at my wits' end with these little sadists. We're taking them out. Oh, Muriel, brute force? Let's think this through. No, my mind is made up. We're building a bone bomb. It's the smartest thing we can do. All right, Muriel. We will need some boom powder. Here's the recipe. Okay. What was that, guard? Oh, nothing. I think he's doing a great job. I don't know. He seems nervous. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Well, his head could lie easier if he stopped appealing ice cream for breakfast, eh? You need to give that dream up, Chester. And what did you bribe Royal Guard Number Two with to put that on the agenda? You know. There is no potion in the world strong enough to cover that smell. Still not tall enough to climb yet. I should check back tomorrow. Too shabby. Could use a few more strategically placed barbs, but who am I to complain? All right, Graham, stand back. Which one you want me to take out first? Yeah. That one. Take that. Ah! Ah! Come here, you little pile of gravel. Reach your hand in here so I can cut it off. rely on me and I knew I was going to have to make some hard choices. That morning, stale smell hung in the air. I knew Bramble and Mr. Fancy Case couldn't hold on another day without medicine. This looks like an excellent hiding place. I don't think he'll be a bother anymore. I couldn't help but be afraid. The survival of the prisoners was solely up to me. The 
last time I faced something like this, it didn't end well. What are you buying? Ooh, stay back, don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down. I'm mixing for fixing everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. Are you interested? I'll take it. You got yourself a deal. I procured the only bottle of medicine in that prison. But who should I give it to? Goodbye. I do. Chandra Blossom. Oh, it stinks. Graham, uh, about Bramble, do you know why she's sick? Yeah, the conditions down here are terrible. Uh, no, Graham. Um, she's pregnant. We're expecting. Oh, I, I had no idea. Congratulations. Well, congratulate me after you bring us medicine. Sometimes there is no right answer, but that doesn't mean there's a wrong one either. Oh, little Boo, our king has brought you some nectar of the gods. Thanks, Gram. Whatever was in that bottle worked. I instantly feel better. You're welcome. How do you feel now? Uh, much better. And the baby feels better too. Very kind-hearted of you, Graham. Our family thanks you. It's a wee bit cold, though. Well, there's a furnace back there. Uh, Graham, do you think you could bring us some wood? Perhaps if we get a fire going, we can do a little prison bacon. I might be able to scrounge together a batch of sweetie cakes if you can find me flour. Oh, great idea, Bramble. That's thinking from the heart. Perhaps the guards would take a loving bribe and let us out of here. Thanks, King Graham. This'll help to keep us warm. Glad I could help. Now about those sweetie cakes. Have you found any flour yet? I'll keep looking. 
This is perfect. Wendy, let's get to work. Oh, I think this can all be solved with a little pie. And in the absence of pie, these prison sweetie cakes should work wonders for goblin relations. Well, hello, little friends. Who would like to sample these treats? Get them while they're hot. <laughs> Nobody has ever turned down my sweetie cakes before. Mmm. Mmm. Look, I'm eating it. It's good. Well, kindness isn't exactly killing them. Graham, I have a new plan. Compassion for my wife outweighs compassion for my enemies. Find me some chunder blossoms, please. They tend to grow in this region. What's a chunder blossom do? Well, we'll mix it in with the sweetie cakes. It'll twist those goblins' stomachs into quite a pretzel. I'm not sure I like this idea. Desperate times call for desperate measuring cups. <sighs> well, it was worth a shot. Here, Graham, you'll take it. Thanks, Graham. Bacon with chunder blossoms a delicate process. If the seeds touch me skin, I could be right back on the ground for days. If I was a little healthier, I'd feel more confident in the plan. Guess I deserve a treat too. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel great. I don't think I'll need to eat again for a while. I still can't believe Gwendolyn went toe-to-toe -to -toe with me in the tournament and won. Yes, well, she shouldn't let a small thing like size get in her way. Guys, I'm right here.
Great, just one more ingredient to go. Father, do you have any snacks in here? Pay attention, guard. You said you wanted to learn. Huh. I should check back tomorrow.
This should work. Just a second, Muriel. You need to be in full health to build this boomer. Shaky hands and explosives don't mix, woman. All right, all right, Chester. What are you buying? The last bowl of porridge, spruced up with bran berries. Did you know this super fruit packs two whole days of nutrition into just one serving? How much? Two shiny gold coins. Are you interested? I'll take it. Enjoy. Goodbye. Golden tag. You did good, Graham. Yeah, but there's two goblins left. Oh, I know. And for some reason, they won't come near the bars anymore. Do you blame them? Go find me a long handle for this blade. Let's see them hide from that. Um, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Ever hear of killing them with kindness? Kindness? Huh. Never heard of that weapon. Adventure. I was great at taking quests. As a king, I struggled at giving orders. What if I made the wrong choice? What if I led the kingdom astray? What if I lost another friend to that dragon? I could have saved Mr. Fancy Cakes. What was I thinking? Thank you, 